In this lesson, we will discuss what is the difference between save and save as and how we can save our workbook. So here I have written some information. Whenever you create a new workbook in Excel, you will need to know how to save it in order to access and edit it later. As with previous versions of Excel, you can save files locally to your computer, but unlike older versions, Excel 2013 or even 2016 also lets you save a workbook to the cloud using OneDrive. You can also export and share workbooks with other, others directly from Excel. So this is uh, just the information. We are not going to save on cloud, but here is save and save as. Excel offers two ways to save a file, save and save as. First, I will explain the difference, then we will read it and it will be clear to you. Right, first time. Suppose I have written all this information first time. If you want to save it, what you have to do, go to the file tab, right? Even if you will click on save or save as, see, I am going to click on save, but it will take you to the save as view, right? Because this is our first time we are saving and in save as you can see the browse button or I will show you one more time. Go here instead of clicking this save. If you will click save as first time you have to click save as okay and then go to the browse same window is there. Then you have to find out where you want to save your file. This is the desktop right you want to save on desktop you want to save on your documents you want to save on your some folders or even on your usb suppose if you want to save on your usb so this is the usb and then save it write down whatever name you want to give to your uh, to your file so i am just going to write down practice right and then see here excel workbook and save so first time you have to go to the file, click on save or save as it will take you to the save as view. And after that, whatever you will write here, you will make some graph charts or you will write down. Do not need to go again and again file. This is on the quick access toolbar. This is the save button. Just click it, right? Do some work and again, click here. So here I have written that save and save as save when you create or edit a workbook you will use the save command to save your changes you will use this command most of the time when you save a file you will only need to choose a file name and location the first time right again and again you do not have to give a new name or the, the or the location only one time after that you can just click the save command this one to save it with the same name and location. Save as, now suppose this file is ready, the name of that file is practice. If you want to make a copy of this file, then you have to go again to the file, save as, right, browse the button here, and then where you want to save. This time I am saying I am saving on this my S folder, and the file name should be practice one and then save it right if you want to make a copy then so here i have written you will use this command to create a copy of the workbook while keeping the original this practice will remains the same if you want to make some modification on your new practice one do whatever you want but the practice will remains the same when you use save as, you will need to choose a different name and or location for the copied version. It is not necessary that always you have to change the location. Name, yes, if you want to make a copy, you have to change the name of the file, but location is not necessary that every time you have to change, you can save on the same location with different name. It is important to save your workbook whenever you start a new project or make changes to an existing one. Saving early and often can prevent your work from being lost. 
you will also need to pay close attention to where you save the workbook so it will be easy to find later see if you will not pay attention that sometimes we save in documents and it will be difficult for us sometimes we will find out in desktop or we forget okay i mean usb so you have to pay attention where you are saving locate and select the save command on the quick access toolbar if this command is not there suppose like this where is the save this one right so do not worry that you do not have the save open this arrow and this is the save click here it will pop up here right so these are the steps whatever i told you i have explained i have also mentioned here so please read this very slowly because it will help you to understand what is the difference between save and save as right and here is all the information i will show you one more time i hope it is clear please practice it subscribe to my channel see you in the next lesson and thank you